guys, it's Sizzle Labs, and uh, this is Exoria. So yeah, you might notice that in between episodes, a fair amount of stuff has changed. Got a new intro, and uh, it is pretty cool. I, I'm really pumped with it. Let me guys know down in the comments what you guys think of it. I really like how it turned out. It took my blood, my sweat, my tears, and uh, a lot of other bodily fluids <laughs> to kind of make it. But uh, yeah, I got it done. It is definitely finished. I'll give you guys a diagram pie chart of the actual kind of bodily fluids later on, I suppose, but uh, yeah, we'll kind of get to that later. Uh, I did do a lot of stuff in between episodes, I guess, in the game as well, so over here, I kind of just kind of set up our trees here. I did this on purpose, kind of a nice straight line, because I could just mine them really quickly with this uh, bane of, what is this one called, lumber? Bane of trees, there you go, and uh, just the straight line just makes mincemeat of it, and very well organized, nice clean, and uh, I can kind of do the leaves as well. I'm not going to do the leaves right now, because I actually have a lot of saplings. Just thought I'd kind of show the setup real quick. I did move my charcoal pit down here, set up some rushes because we're going to need that today. Already got some of that in my inventory. Pretty cool. And uh, moved my farms down here. So I did that kind of on the outside. I also found a way to get cobblestone really easy. So yeah, that is pretty sweet as well. And here, just some more chests. I did a bunch of chests in between episodes as well. So that is pretty cool. And I guess the last thing I kind of did was over here. I semi-automated the strainers, and uh, they actually need new <laughs> strainers, because that part of it isn't automated yet. Let's go here, and throw those in there. Sweet. And uh, get the other ones on the other side. And just a lot of hoppers. I just used hoppers. I figured it was the easy way to do it. I have tons of wood. It's not a problem at all. But it gives it a nice double buffer chest uh, on each side, right, for each three. And then they have their internal inventories as well, in case it ever gets backed up. So that can hold quite a lot of stuff, which is pretty cool and pretty awesome. Uh, what we're going to get to today, though, I think, if we can actually go down here and go to survival, um, the first thing we're going to get to, I think, is basic piping. We're going to get this one done. I already have a lot of stuff in our inventory. I just need to kind of remember which pipes we need to make. I know we need to make a clay pipe. Let's do that. It was clay transports. And I'm just going to do, like, entire stacks of these because the recipes are really cheap, which I really appreciate. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of packs, the early automation, at least lately, has been completely shut down. And in this pack, it's not an issue. Like, he's given us automation tools. So as we move forward, we can kind of get it done. And uh, that is pretty cool. But I just want to hammer these out really quickly. These ones here, chalk pipes. Like, it's like, I, I, I'm not used to these ones. Like, what are these ones for? Routes items. I'm going to have to try that at some point. I'm so unfamiliar with uh, Buildcraft, I have to say. I just, it was before my time. Before it was like a big thing, right? Because um, yeah, it's, it's one of those old school mods. Some of you old school guys are... Definitely good. You're such a noob. But at the same time, it just wasn't around, man. I guess we won't make many of those ones. <laughs> I don't think I usually use many of the structure pipes anyway. So let's go grab them, I suppose. Sweet. We got 48. Oh, I made the wrong ones. Those are the structures. Let's just chuck those. Good thing cobblestone's like free now. I'll kind of show that in a second here. So uh, let's do that. Let's go back. It's the actual transfer pipes we need. I should show you the cobble before we even get to it. Cobblestone. There's cobblestone generator in this wall. <laughs> because I have this thing here, the beta cobble, this thing has a modifier on it that makes it so when you're breaking cobble in a cobblestone generator, it automatically puts in your inventory. But on top of that, it kind of doesn't actually like technically destroy the block. It just you notice it's just flashing, automatically putting it back there, so you don't even have to wait for the normal kind of respawn of the cobble. But if you put it down just in the ground, it breaks normally, right? So that bam. So you can get cobble really easy in this pack, which is really cool. But anyway, <laughs> enough babbling. Let's go to here. I already had these, right? Let's just grab, I guess, one recipe of these. Sweet. Go and grab ourselves some wood. Grab ourselves some sticks. Let's grab two stacks. And we're going to make a whole bunch of the engines as well, I figure. Kind of could just get them done. Go wooden engine. Grab that. And this is kind of the power source for the mod. They need redstone signals. Or is it power? I think it's power. And, um, yeah, <laughs> this this provides it to the pipes. Anyway, do that, and however many we got, we got. We got eight of them, so that's cool. I'm gonna drop that stuff off, and uh, when we need it, we'll be able to use it. I'm gonna drop off all this wood, too. I need to stop cutting down wood right now, actually. We're getting so backed up on that kind of stuff. <laughs> it's just gonna over, overtake our inventories. Anyway, pretty cool. And, uh, I, yeah, as you can see, I made a bunch of chests. I got that going. Also, I made another room in here. I missed the block, man. <laughs> and uh yeah i've been going after the ore berries something fierce just to make sure i can make lots of chest that's pretty cool as well how many of those i got in there i already got enough for another 18 chest i think i might i don't think there's gonna be any, uh, a real reason to do a lot more of the kind of other kind of ore berries i think iron's gonna be the only important one unless i've missed something 
Uh, if the other ones become important, I guess I'll go into them. Otherwise, I'm probably going to switch them all over to the iron ones and kind of just do it that way. So anyway, that quest is done. Let's go and claim it, I suppose. So there we go. We're going to get a wrench, which is pretty cool. And that's just the tool for the mod. The next thing we're going to have to get into is the Adobe uh, Crafter request, which actually wants us to make, I guess, some, some of these brick forms. And we're supposed to end up with these Adobe bricks to kind of make the next machine. One of my main goals today is actually get to a Tinker's Table. I think we can have it right after this quest. So that is pretty cool. Let's go ahead. What was the first step of this? Let's go back. Oh, yeah, the dry thatching that I just dropped off. <laughs> Let's grab this stuff. And is this one this one? Yes, there we go. We need to get some of that kind of all dried up. We can do that in the drying racks. Pretty simple. Pretty sweet. Let's get that stuff out there. Sweet. I'll take a minute or two, but that isn't that big a deal. Get you all out. Awesome. Okay. Let's head upstairs and get to the next part. Next part is a little, it's a weird mechanic. One I've never seen before. And uh, is pretty awesome. I, I'm really enjoying the fact that DavQuest is making us use mechanics from Primal Core we almost never see. Because every other mod uses a couple things from Primal Core and doesn't usually use anymore. <laughs> I, guess I'll, I don't know why I chuck those anyway. Uh, what we're going to do here, though, is take this flint work blade. We're going to start right-clicking on this wood. Kind of like this. Shift right-click. Every once in a while, it's going to kind of strip it down, right? Rip the bark off it. And then we are going to use a axe on it is actually going to split it into logs so it can turn them into split logs which is pretty cool and, uh, with those we can make the brick forms and then we have to make some looks like adobe brick mix or something like that we'll, we'll kind of see here in a second and uh <laughs> once we have that we can get going here let's actually make some more of these i want to make a bunch because we need i think i counted six of these kind of blocks to kind of get this done i'm gonna need a fair amount of logs here this may or may not be enough but uh, we'll kind of see because I think the brick forms only hold two bricks each. Something like that. Okay, all we need to do now is right click on these. You can see here it's actually just splitting them down. Which is pretty awesome with that. Cool little mechanics. Little extra steps in a pack that you would otherwise just kind of miss this stuff. I don't think we're going to be using this Adobe for a ton. But it was used for one certain block which is kind of important. But the first thing we're going to need here are those brick forms. Let's go ahead and grab those. Let's see how many we make here. 72. Don't know if that's enough or not. Let's see here. How many did I get? Maybe? Where are they at? Oh, right there. Nine? I actually think I need one more of these things. Let's uh, let's do two more. Kind of get that done real quick. Because I think I counted 40 bricks. <laughs> I may be wrong, but either way, it doesn't really hurt to do one more of these things. Awesome. Did we get? Yeah, we got more than enough. One more brick form. Grab that. And sweet. Okay, so I'm just going to put them down kind of a temporary spot right now. Just going to go kind of like that. So that'd be one brick, two brick, three brick, four brick, five brick. I actually need two more. We'll get to that in a second. <laughs> going to go down here, though, and grab our thatching. Let's get that. There you go. I made two more brick forms, and I went and grabbed our dry thatching, so we're good there. We're going to grab some of that refractory clay. Grab you. And I guess we need one of the clay for each one. And uh, what we're going to make here is called the Adobe Mix. Adobe to me is what I edit my videos with. <laughs> so this was completely new, new to me. It definitely is a real building material. Oh, it needs mud balls. I thought I could use the clay. Let's go grab some mud balls. We have tons of those. Do that. They actually fill up those chests pretty badly. Something I'll have to deal with at some point. If we have to continue to kind of use those for long term. But anyway, we're getting a whole bunch of this Adobe Brick Mix. Which is exactly what we want. And, uh, we're just going to take that and start kind of throwing it in the molds here. And uh, as we do that, it's going to slowly turn into the actual adobe bricks that we need. Four of them are going to turn into one of the actual bricks. And then we'll actually have the quest done, which is pretty cool. But that's going to take a few minutes there. That's like a four or five minute kind of step. Kind of throw these in here. And uh, just kind of let them do their thing. There was another quest I saw we could get to. And I think it was down in resource. Right here, clear glass. We can get that one done really quickly. So I figured we'd kind of grab that. It'd be nice to have some glass anyway. Because uh, we're definitely going to most likely need a tank before long. Just for various fluids. So I should probably do eight. I think I saw a tank. These ones. I think we can use those ones pretty easy. So let's kind of see if we can get this done. I don't know the kind of glass we're getting. It's weird. You're getting the clear glass. And the clear glass, I think, is from... Is that actually additions? Let's go here. Go to clear. Right there, this glass. No, it's Tinker's Construct Clear Glass. I don't know if it's going to count as regular glass. It's, it's, it's a little strange that it's the glass we're getting. But uh, we're definitely going to find out here. 
if it's actually the proper glass, because <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, I'm doing that the wrong way. Let's throw you in there. That's sweet. I don't think there's anything else we could do. We can get into sieves in a little bit, and that's pretty cool. It uh, needs to be enough closed room. I should have mentioned, too, those actual brick forms, they have to be like, covered. You can't be able to be hit by room uh, water or rain, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So you need something over their head to, for them to work properly. That is definitely a thing. Kind of let that go here. Curious how fast this is going to melt. Because some of the stuff I'm noticing... Oh, I still have one piece of liquid iron in there. Need one more plate. Gonna need that plate for later on, so I might as well get that. Kind of done. I did do a fair amount of igots. I also did the um, survivalist nets. Um, I guess survivalist uh, strainers. I did two, one of each. One for the dense and one of the regular. Just kind of finish off that quest there. Wow, that's really slow, man. <laughs> what else can we do here? This one actually wants me to go find a Roots 2 building, which we'll kind of get at, get to at some point. And I think this one makes it look like it's going to make the Batania one right over our head. Then we're going to get into some kind of cool things here. Oh, I should mention too, I made this. I made the um, Slime Boots and Slime Slime. Totally forgot about that. Go to Recipe. The way I did it, because the hard part is the, well, I mean all of it. It's not really hard, but uh, you need to know kind of the trick here. The Congealed Slime Blocks are kind of, not the Congealed. Let's do to you. It's these, the Slime Blocks. To make these, you can actually convert them over to the green ones if you make, where are they? Rice slime balls, which is just rice, and we have the rice seeds already. Combine that with water. There you go. Got to make the dough, though, of course. One more step. Then combine them in block. Then you can break them right back down in the slime balls. Then you can turn them into their congealed green slime and just grab some of the hemp uh, for the string, and you're good to go at that point, which is pretty cool. Oh, we do have liquid glass. Let's grab that. Kind of get that going. This thing's pretty slow. I have to give it that. But uh, so is Tinkers, I guess. I mean, when it's doing blocks. See how long this takes to cool down. Kind of curious here. Yeah, not very quick at all. Definitely going to want to take the bulk of the fuel out of that. See there? It used one so far. So let's give it like five. There we go. Let's do that. And uh, there we go. One more quest. That one is done. I don't know if that unlocked everything or anything. I'm hoping to get to this one because it looks like the um, Batania Hourglass. <laughs> Which quest does that actually need? It should tell us on it actually. Another abandoned structure. So it wants the Batania building by the sounds of it. We'll get to that one in a little bit. But uh, next thing I guess I'm waiting on, and kind of locked down until this is finished. So I'm going to go away for a few minutes, wait for this to all convert over into Adobe Brick. Then we'll kind of move forward. There you go. The Adobe's all done. We should be able to just come up here, start right clicking, get this stuff all picked up really quick. Awesome. Let's just get it all. This should be enough for the six bricks that we need. But I'm going to go ahead and put the rest down. I don't think this is going to be something we kind of need out all the time. So, yeah, I think it's going to be a limited amount we need, so I'll kind of make it as we need it sort of deal. Kind of get that going. Sweet. And awesome. So that takes care of the adobe. Let's go ahead and get that all crafted up. And, uh, there we go. We got our adobe blocks, I believe. Sweet. That quest is done. And, uh, we can actually move on to the one I actually want to get to, which is right here. Grinding my gears. We need to make the metal caster, a nugget mold, and a gear mold. So we're going to get that done. Uh, let's grab, I think I need one more of these. Let's do that that in here and let's make the nugget mold kind of all willy-nilly sweet that should start going oh maybe i didn't i thought i had one in there maybe i do not did i mess something up oh i think i messed up the mold nugget mold <laughs> i thought i'd do it oh yeah it doesn't need this here there we go that should handle that it did have the one it needed did we need the gear mold as well let's go to gear mold kind of see the shape on that one so that one's a three by three with little kind of blocks in one apart. There we go. Let's grab you. And just to show you, people are saying shift click it in. It doesn't work. It does not work at all. So yeah, definitely does not. Let's go ahead. Get this one done here. Then maybe quickly automate the actual, um, what's it called? The actual melter. And uh, see if we can get that going. <laughs> Should be pretty easy. Let's go to melter because we should be able to get this one going as well so this is what we actually need to make what is it called it was the caster we're making i'm thinking about the melter because i want to automate it but anyway let's go here i already have the iron plates we're gonna grab a refractory casing we need four dob for that plus four plates then we need two chests as well which we actually already have let's grab two of them sweet and grab you awesome fantastic we have that we have that we have everything i think and we can see here, you unlock crafting knowledge. That actually means we can make the tinker's tables. 
with uh, we're gonna get to that in a couple of minutes here because uh, I would like to go ahead and automate the melter like I said really quickly so let's actually grab for those maybe wood transfer pipes and do I have cactus here I would have to smelt that down can I just use let's see here I have some rice slime balls you need to combine them with the pipes to make fluid pipes I'm just uh, can't remember if we could just use rice slime balls that is not rice slime ball <laughs> let's actually grab that stuff really quick kind of go in here now that doesn't convert over the sealant let's you grab you I suppose maybe a bucket of water actually I could just convert that right into crafting table can I why don't I do it that way <laughs> make my life a lot easier rather than going and making more and jazz there we go we have one of those convert that over sweet I'll give us the four we need right didn't transfer pipe oh yeah sealant first I always try to do that let's do you do you and there we go we got four fluid transfer pipe which is exactly what we need there we're gonna need some levers too so before I actually run down there do I have enough chest uh -uh. So many things, man. I'm so excited to get to the Tinker's kind of table here that I'm being a little derpy, but let's finally head downstairs and get this thing automated pretty cleanly. Let's kind of break this stuff. We're not going to need the faucets anymore, so we're going to get them off. Sweet and sweet. That's fine. Let's go ahead and grab the wooden fluid pipes, and we should be able to throw them all right here. Really easy peasy. Grab our wooden engines as well. And I want them right above them, so that is totally wrong. That is totally right. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Oh, that peck isn't gonna work. I guess we'll use this one. It probably wants an axe anyway, but we'll just do what we have. Need one there, and these things will auto face, which is a, actually pretty nice. Grab our levers. Put one in front of each one. Sweet. Do I have any liquid in there? Nope. Let's go ahead. What do I probably need next? Probably some iron. Let's go ahead and make some like iron plates or something automated. Kind of really quickly. Let's do you. Throw you in here. Grab ourselves some more of this. Sweet. There we go. So all I should have to do now is kind of turn that on, right? I think. Once it sees liquid. It doesn't see liquid right now, but let's get the hopper set up. And once it sees liquid, it should start pulling the fluid. Unless it's going the wrong way. I don't think it is. I think it is actually going the correct way. Give me that stuff. Put one there. Uh, this one will have to be moved. Q here. Should have probably just used those chests to be honest. Uh, we already got a hopper there for that one. That one's already automated basically. And this one right here. And uh, we should be good to go, man. Let's do you. I don't know why I did that at all whatsoever. Let's pretend it's normal. Put one there. Put a hopper there, and we should just need our basalt back in place. Make everything all pretty. And once this thing hits temperature, it should start pumping liquid. You can see here that it's turning colors too. Everyone thinks this is going to explode because I think it did way in the past. It hasn't done that for a long time. You don't really need to worry about that. I may move this entire setup one more out too, or move the wall back. I guess I would have to move the wall back too, realistically, to be able to get around this thing properly. Just so I can automate this side as well. Which is pretty cool. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to need one of them to be the caster too. I'll make... Which one's going to be the caster for now? Let's make this one. Probably going to have to do some swapping for now. There we go. Grab you. Probably ended up in there. And let's just take the caster. Sweet. And this thing is just really basic. It just takes like one of these molds. So if I wanted to make gears, throw it there. Pump in the liquid. Once the liquid's pumped in, it just makes gears. These are for tanks if you want to use for fluid and stuff. We're not worried about that right now. We really don't have reason. I just want to make sure this thing's moving fluid. <laughs> Come on, man. Move some fluid for me. Just so we can make sure this is working. Start smelting. Why you no smelt? There we go. It's at temperature. There we go. It's going to go. Oh, iron is so slow. Stuff like leaded stuff isn't too bad. Or copper. Uh, the tin goes really fast. But this is slow as dirt. Look at that, man. Almost makes you want to have one just for iron. <laughs> there we go. And there we go. Advanced made. Advancement made free power. It is moving the iron in. It, uh, once it gets enough to make the actual plate, it'll end up just in the chest. So that is fully automated right there. And that is pretty cool. <laughs> Probably just let that make some plates for now. 
Did I put that in front of my door? That confused the heck out of me. And okay, the next quest we're gonna get to here is gonna be this one, the crafting station. This is what we're going for anyway. So let's just get these ones kind of broken. <laughs> get that done really quick. The recipe seems pretty easy, so yeah, it looks like an inventory craft actually. Let's go and grab, I guess some of you are gonna need some sticks. Let's do, how many of these do we want right now? Why, why am I combining sticks? Is that something that I need? Not at all. What I need is this. Uh, let's do four of them for now. Let's do that. Then I think the recipe was just this here. There we go. And uh, we'll craft four of those. And that should be the quest right there, which is pretty cool. Awesome. Should be able to take that stuff. Throw it right here. I'm going to go to one of them right away. And probably feed it a chest. Let's give it one of these chests here. Actually, two of these chests. <laughs> Awesome, and now we can craft from the crafting table. So that is pretty awesome. So if I took some of this stuff here, kind of all this jazz and that, I uh, threw it into the chest. Anytime a recipe calls for that stuff, I don't need to hold it in my inventory. I can just go for the other components. So if I wanted to say, actually, let's go grab this here, because this will actually speed this stuff up here. Do I have my points too? I have everything. Sweet. Let's see how many more chests we can make. <laughs> Where's my iron nuggets? Iron ore berries. And just let's go to chest. I should be able to just craft these. Got to all willy nilly. Oops, if I actually look at the right table. And boom. Seven more chests, just like that. Nothing in my inventory. Pulled it all from the chest. And that is the joy of Tinker's Tables. So that is pretty cool. I just want to make sure this is working down here. Maybe take a look at where we're headed now. <laughs> there, it's going. It's doing the stuff. It's moving the liquids. It's going to take a while, but. It'll finally get it done. I will have to make sure the right amount of liquid is in there. Actually, that should be fine there. That should make, what, seven plates? Because I put a stack in, right? And if I gave it nine more, that'd be eight plates, right? Just so it's a nice even number. Sweet. Okay. So what we're going to do, let's kind of take a look at a quest here. I'd like to get in the sieving, I was thinking. I'd also like to get in the hoppers, I think. So what are the hoppers? Because I saw the item vacuum. Let's go to hopper. Dare, this one is going to need five iron plates. Ugh. Okay. Then the sieve is probably just the normal recipe, so that's pretty easy. Restrictions. Must be in a closed room of at least 100 blocks, an interior size, at least 64 exposed shingle. Okay, let's take a look at shingle here. See what we need to kind of get that going. Let's go with the oak ones. Oak, wood, and flint. Okay, we just need a stack of those. That's actually a pretty cheap recipe. Odd number though, six, because uh, we're gonna have to use, uh, well, I guess I'll end up with like a little over a stack of it when I'm done. All right, I don't need that, that's for sure. Grab you, I guess we'll make some shingles. That plus, I guess we'll end up with what, two more than we actually need, which is fine, I guess. So we got our shingles, we have that. I need to put that downstairs. Those faucets, I don't need on me right now, so let's actually dump them off. And kind of figure this out. So we're going to have to make some sieves. I think I'm just going to straight up make nine because I think that'd be the easiest way to do it. I'm getting all my wood moved in here too because wood is just the bane of my existence right now. I seem to have it everywhere. I always have the wood, man. Anyway, let's go grab you. Grab some nine. Sweet. And we need to take a look at the meshes. Let's see what they cost. They just take plant fiber. That is pretty simple. Grab you. We did nine. Well, we're going to need nine meshes as well, aren't we? So let's get that done. You, you. I guess we'll do this little buddy here. I'll handle seven of them. And I guess we'll just need, I guess, two more. I'll just do the last two kind of manually. One, two. There we go. We have a quest. That is finished. Curious what it wants here. It wants ash blocks, which we obviously have. And... Whole bunch of stuff sieved, apparently. So we're gonna have to sieve down ash, which is pretty cool. But, uh, we have this room here. It's gonna have to be enclosed. This one doesn't actually need a door, so I guess we'll just get rid of that. Steal that door, so I don't have to go make any more right now. <laughs> and uh, we'll stick it in this room. Uh, I wasn't planning on the restrictions when I made this room, so we're actually gonna have to dig out all this basalt, I suppose. Kind of get that done really quickly. And uh, get it all finished up. So it's pretty cool, man. I mean, we're making good progression here. We got, uh, you know, our furnace, or no, furnace, our melts are already automated. That took nothing at all. It's super simple. And uh, I think we might be able to automate the sieves as well, pretty simply. Because uh, he's given us access to the, what is that called? The Emperor's Vacuum. And uh, that, that thing 
is pretty much it just pulls items out of the world right so we may be able to get to that too today which would be pretty fantastic if we kind of nail both automations in one day although that first one was so simple barely worth mentioning <laughs> Wait. Some people don't know how to use that build craft stuff. I had to learn myself. It is a little finicky. And uh, if the liquids are trying to pull the wrong way, just use the wrench on it. I notice sometimes when you place them down, they just decide to go in the opposite directions. <laughs> they don't have a full kind of rhyme or reason to them sometimes. So I'll light those back up. There we go. And there. Get you right over here. Let's see how many more spaces we need here. Oh yeah, we had a hole in the ceiling too. I could fix that really easy now. Do that. And I hit 66. So I still need, is it seven more? Uh, yeah, seven more. I'm gonna have to do something like this. Not really what I wanna do, but uh, I'm gonna have to do it anyway. You know, at least it be, you know, the same on both sides nonetheless. Although it look a little silly from the hall. <laughs> it is what it is, this is not a permanent home. That's pretty cool. So. Let's get our sieves down. Does this room have a center? It does, right here. So we'll grab you, get our sieves down. We have nine of these puppies. If I did everything right, yes, it'll actually let us put them down. There we go. Awesome. And get those finished. Look at that, man. Getting stuff done. Let's go grab some ash, I suppose. Let's do like two stacks. Let's actually drop off all that basalt. It'll definitely get used later on. There we go. And sweet. Like, look at that, man. Already sieving. Just like it's nothing. All willy-nilly. And uh, we need to get one of every item. I don't know if any of them are really rare. Didn't really look at that very closely. It's at a stack, so if we can generally get it... Yeah, we already got it. Not even hitting a stack. Which is pretty cool. Might as well do the second stack, though. That'll be pretty cool. Look at it go. <laughs> awesome. That actually went very simply. I like it when things go simply. <laughs> Take a look at what we got here, too. Actually, I'm kind of curious. Because we are definitely getting materials that we didn't have previously. So what did we get here? Dust piles. I guess we could do that, right? And then, are those getting used on the sieve? They are. Okay. Might be a quest associated with that. 64 dust. That isn't a dire deed quest, but I only have about 32 right now. Kind of get that one as we sieve some more. Got the burnium. What are we using the burnium for this pack? Ah, to get into the, probably the condensers. Okay. I thought you could turn that into a longer version. It's also fuel. There you go. Ah, there's the, bur the bigger ones, right? And they're going to be used for immersive engineering and ender chest. Wow, looks like he's used them for quite a few things. So they're almost like an Ender Pearl replacement to a point, because he's using them for the Ender Pouches and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Pretty awesome. What else did we get here? Phosphor. Not sure what we're using that for. We can use that to make lava. That's actually really cool. Give us a way to kind of make lava without having to go for it. And what do we got down here? Mass gathering. <laughs> I have it. Why didn't you remember I had this stuff? It was definitely about two minutes in between the time that I put it down and uh, when I accepted the quest. There we go. Grab all that jazz. Let's kind of reset up what we already had set up here. Because <laughs> it just made me do stuff for no apparent reason. And that is pretty cool. So let's kind of take a look at where we could head here. I want to get to this, automated sieving. This is called, what, the auto sieve, I believe? Check out here, it's EI. I, I, isn't it? This thing, this thing right here. So we need pistons. We would need two tin gears, which we can make really easy now. Tin actually smelts really quick. And we also need two hoppers. The hoppers, I'm actually doing the iron plates right now, actually. I'd only need two more, so that's pretty cool. And then I would need, what is it called here? Let's go to X and Hilo. I might actually do a cut here. Kind of grab everything we need. Because it looks like we're actually pretty close. X and Hilo we would need. Here. These, these water wheels. Grab that. Some stone axles. We need those as well. Everything's really simple. 
And okay, I think I'm actually going to wrap this video up here. I think tomorrow we'll actually get into the kind of auto saving, get that all done and kind of push forward from that point. So I think that'd be pretty cool and pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, it's something we're definitely going to do. Um, you're probably going to see another episode late tonight, probably eight, nine hours from now. Because second this one's rendered, I'm going to make another video, try to get caught up. And then moving forward through the week, I'm going to start trying to get a video out, at least one of them out at the same time every day because i want to get consistent i know that's one of my issues with my channel and uh, it's something i'm working forward I'm, I'm trying to better my channel man that's why i'm trying to do this outro stuff all these other bits and bobs um well i did an intro i'm i'm still working on my outro it's coming but uh yeah <laughs> definitely think a lot of stuff is coming and uh, i'm working on it i try to make this content better for you guys so that is definitely a thing but uh, i am gonna end this one here so as always if you guys like this video please hit that like button if you really liked it hit the subscribe button it is always appreciated I hope you guys have a good one. I'll see you guys next video. Later.